What's going on, everybody? So today I want to talk about the event and uh, my impressions of it now that I've actually gone through most of it um, in my account, right? First things first, though, uh, I want to give you guys the promo code that they've given us. Now, I actually already redeemed this and the recording got messed up, but it should be Merry Xmas here. And if you claim that, you should get 10 free summons sent to your inbox here. I'll post a screenshot. Hopefully, I remember right here on screen on what I got. Just to give you guys an idea, it should be 10 free excellent wishes, which will be a little nice bonus for Christmas. Now that's being said, um, let's talk about the event, guys. The Christmas party event. So I made the assumption here after I saw the event and saw all the activities that the Christmas adventure event, this event right here, is going to be similar and difficult to do the Halloween event. The Halloween event was way easier than this one. This one is difficult and it's, uh, it's going to make me re-gear my units, which unfortunately I haven't really had the time to go ahead and re-gear my units. So they're a little slow in terms of speed. And I'll have to upgrade a bunch of gear as well to make sure I get the proper speeds or just have to build someone like Space out that I have really stalled on building because I just think she's kind of boring <laughs> um, uh, to use. So I haven't really built her. And it, I mean, guys, it's just tough. I'll just show you right now. I have gone to stage three, okay? And uh, I've cleared out most of it, right? I've cleared out most of it. We have this uh, few other, you know, uh, little battles to go ahead and do. But you can see here, if I just hop into this battle and show you guys what I'm dealing with. First off, these guys are fast, right? It's tw uh, 2,200 speed on these guys. They have a decent amount of effect hit. Their, their HP pools, their damage numbers, and just their overall stats here are just insane. Just watch what happens here to my team comp. There goes um, Sigmund. He just got absolutely one shot. Um, there there goes Amalek there. He just absolutely not. There's 1.4 million damage on that guy. There's an AoE, and my whole team's dead. My whole team's dead. I, I, I didn't even get a turn. Even if I had a turn to put on the shield, I still would have gotten one shot through that Thanatos attack. I would have gotten one shot. So even if I did go first, the only option I have is to one shot them before they one shot me. Now, un now fortunately for me, I actually have the team comp to do that, right? I have, um, I have Melia, I have Sigmund, I have Hisanya, right? So I can go Melia, Sigmund, Hisanya, burst out the enemies with HP burn. And they're gonna die anyways because it's HP burn. I don't have to worry about DPS or anything like that. But that's lucky, right? I have second exclusive Melia, I have Sigmund, I have first exclusive Hisanya. All of that is required to do something like that. And most people don't have those characters for one. Two, most people don't have the stats. Three, most people don't have um, the exclusives. And four, most people don't even aren't even best progressed in the game, okay? This is really difficult. And again, I say this because these characters, like I just showed you, or I basically explained I could beat them if I got first turn because I have the HP burns, right? If I get going, I could just one shot them. And just to give you guys an idea, I'll go ahead and battle this bottom stage down here just to show you what that kind of looks like. Um, because if I'm able to go first, I can easily attack it. So I can go ahead and speed up my units. It should be no problem for me once I get the, the time to go ahead and do so. But for most people, as I mentioned, that's not going to be a solution. That's not going to be a solution. It's going to be way too difficult for, for everyone to beat this, especially considering um, how crazy statted up these guys are and how insane crazy damage numbers there are right i mean you can see i'm fighting back a little bit but if let's say i didn't get anything proc i can just go ahead and launch the hp burn and it should one shot everyone right it should be no issue i'll just hp burn them down and i'll have no problem and that should happen to these later stages as well but for those people that don't have the hp burns they're gonna have to deal with strict damage and we haven't even gotten to the boss fights guys the boss fights i've seen are crazy crazy difficult as well and we'll see if i can you know beat that or if i'm just gonna get one shot here or if i'm gonna have to wait for several more buffs okay We'll have to see um but it's crazy maybe they, they 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 plan on making this type of content you can't beat it on the first day maybe you should have to wait a few days to accumulate quite a few buffs maybe that's their their kind of perspective but that's i mean it's crazy difficult guys and it might be too difficult because even with the mass amount of buffs i don't know if a free-to-play player who's been playing up until this time would have a good chance of beating like i'm close to a free-to-play player i'm not i'm not super close right but i'm i'm decently close compared to some of the other um 
content creators out there, right? I buy the battle pass and I think I've spent money on a couple packs, like small packs. That's it. But even then, that's a significant bonus, right? I get a lot more summons, I get a lot more energy, and I've been playing since the global launch, right? So if you're afraid of playing, you've been playing for let's say a month or two months, you're gonna struggle on this. That's what it's just gonna happen. You're gonna struggle on this event. And uh, I don't know if that's um it's kind of the right way to go about it. What I think should have done, let's say they wanted to go with this buff system, right? They wanted to make people, okay, you gotta wait until you get your free dragon eye. Don't make it cost gems, right? People are spending gems, they're probably gonna have to spend 40 or 50 buffs to be able to beat it. Now, I do think that they're going to be able to beat it. But they're making it so that you have to spend all these gems to get it and that feels a little bad again when i'm talking about this guys i do think it'll be possible why do i say that is because let's say you know let's just do some math here let's say you get 10 buffs that are speed buffs well now you have 10 percent speed assuming it doesn't stack on each other you now have 100 percent speed right um so that's gonna be 10 you're gonna spend um 10 times 20 uh which is gonna be 200 gems right uh, I don't even know why I brought up the calculator, but let's say you get 10 times attack buffs, now you have 100% attack, 10 times HP buffs, you have, I believe it's 15% HP, so you have 150% HP. I do think it's possible to be able to beat it um, as someone who's been playing for two months, but you're going to need a lot of buffs. And that is just unfortunate, right? I just don't know why they've kind of done this system. If they're going to do the buffs, make it like the, um, like the Brave Trial system, right? The Brave Trial gives you these buffs but you can spend your event currency to get these buffs, which I think is a great way to go about doing it. That way you can kind of plan around, okay, I need to use buffs for this later stage, which I oftentimes do when I get to stage eight, stage nine of the Brave Trial. I start to claim a bunch of buffs and, and, and cruise through it that way. I don't know. I, I just don't like how they've they've kind of situated the, the event. It feels um, a little frustrating for some people. I'm not too worried about it because, again, I know that the buffs will help me. I know that the buffs will help me. I'm not going to worry about rushing through it. There doesn't seem to be a big purpose to rushing through it. So if anyone's out there struggling on this, I would just wait a couple of days, accumulate a ton of buffs. You're going to get one every four hours. And you can see here, boom, look, I just got a speed buff by 20%. Let's go see if that helps me beat the event. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. But again, that costed me, that costed me 40 gems. So I've already spent 80 gems on, uh, on this, you know, kind of, uh, run through. And let me just see if I'm even able to beat it with the 20% speed increase. Um, I'm not quite sure. Looks like we are definitely going first. Uh, we're gonna get double procs here. And let's see, we're probably gonna get one shot through our our shields here, to be honest. I wouldn't be surprised for a second. There goes that, and that was not even a crit, and Sigmund is down. Sigmund is down from that. Um, let's run that again, see if I can change anything. I'll probably need a little bit more speed again. I said I wanted to build out a space. Um, I, I haven't done it, and it was my, kind of my next project. I was just waiting on it because I don't want to build out a space. It's kind of boring to me. But nonetheless, I mean, look at this, guys. It's just crazy, crazy, ridiculous how strong these characters are. I'm definitely going to have to wait for some more buffs or I build out a space. Those are my only two options. And um, for those people that don't quite have the same amount of either stats or the same amount of talents progressed, or the same characters even, this is going to be a super, super tough um, event for, for everyone. E everyone's going to have a tough time. Unless you're just, you know, a, a really high spender. It's crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you think this is too difficult? I, I personally think this is a little too difficult and I'm not a fan. I think they should tune down the difficulty a little bit. Um, I, I don't see really a, a reason to make it this difficult. If you wanted to make a free event for people to just enjoy some free rewards, then uh, this is not the way to do it. This is not the way to do it. I, I get making people work for it. I get that. But when your main shtick of your event is the legendary dragon eye and you're not getting it, that feels pretty bad. That feels pretty bad. And I made the assumption, again, um, sorry for anyone that uh, that thought they were going to get a free dragon eye uh, without you know any too much difficulty. I made the assumption of making it similar to the Halloween event. I thought it was going to be in similar difficulty. It is clearly not. The Halloween event was way easier, even though it was difficult. Okay, it was still difficult. Like, not, not super difficult. Like, I could still auto it. I autoed every fight. And obviously, that was like a month ago, uh, a month and a half ago at this point. So, it was way easier. But I could auto it, which means that I was totally fine, right? And people below me could definitely get it. But this, 
I can't even touch it right now. I can up, I, I can upgrade my speeds and I can, I can do some things, but even I have to try hard for this. And I'm someone who spent, you know, monthly packs or the monthly battle pass. And I've been playing since global launch. So I don't even know how free to play players who've been playing for a month or a month and a half can even touch this event. And if you started playing recently, there's no way you're going to get this Dragon Eye. No way. Absolutely no way. Whereas in the Halloween event, if you had started, like, let's say three weeks before that event, I could see there's a chance that you could do it if you got lucky. But for this, I, I don't see how you could. I really don't. And uh, that's really unfortunate. I really, I really hope that they either tune the difficulty a little bit over the next couple of days. I will drop a message in the content creator chat. Um, so they, they have at least some knowledge of it because it's crazy hard. But uh, yeah, hopefully this, this this resonates with you guys. Let me know if you guys agree, if you guys disagree. I kind of just ranted a little bit about the difficulty of this event and uh, give you guys the promo code. But man, that is, um, it, it's just unfortunate. I feel for the people who out there who um, expected to get some rewards for this event and uh, are feeling like they got chipped out of their free rewards. And I do feel that sentiment because for these holiday events, I feel like everyone should be included. Everyone should be included. Even the people who are new to the game, it makes people encouraged to log in. You don't need everything to be a challenge. Um, I get it why they have it, but you know, everything doesn't need to be a challenge, especially like this. Give everyone the Dragon Eye, but make another challenge with minor rewards where if you pushed hard, you would get some bonus eggs or whatever. That makes more sense to me if you wanted to do it that way. But to me, this is just, this is too much. This is too much, so. I'm going to stop ranting now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Again, if anyone uh, was under the impression that you're going to get a free Dragonite based on my video, um, you know, <laughs> sorry, guys. Um, I, I was under that impression as well, based on kind of what they were alluding to when they told us and um, based on the previous events. So thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.